time to learn more about the hedgehog uh, as we can see in this typical middle game position. Um, the arrangement of the pieces in this position we can now see very often in games where white uh, still has his pawns on c4 and e4 which is characterized by the maroxy and that means again that white has more space in the center um, but of course black now has achieved those hedgehog pawns on a6 b6 d6 and e6 and that now we can see that a, a move like knight d to b5 is impossible because it costs one piece so in this kind of position normally uh, both players are uh, re -maneuvering, maneuvering their pieces and um, we'll just show a kind of um, follow-up that is very often um, played in such kind of positions what we can see then is the knight on d7 is the common place for the knight because if the knight is on c6 for instance then sometimes there will be a trick with knight d5 we will come to that later as we see that thing in practice in this kind of position um, black tries to prepare a move like b5 or d5 so normally white would play bishop f1 kind of waiting move and also try to get his queen to f2 out of the d file if black puts a rook on d file and then plays d5 so this kind of um, position um, both players are trying to strengthen him, their positions uh, with removing their pieces to better squares and in this kind of position black often plays queen b8 the queen is out of the d file so that if black has a move for instance b5 or d5 and white takes it on d5 with his c pawn then the queen is out of the c file so that's very important and another thing is that sometimes the queen can go to a8 where it supports a kind of breakout with d5 another uh, idea and we will see that soon is that after a move like queen f2 black plays bishop d8 this kind of this kind of move is very uh, useful because the bishop now is aiming to go to c7 and it's also protecting the pawn on b6 twice because white of course could retreat his knight to b3 and then uh, attack the pawn on d6 uh, also with two pieces there's another uh, idea behind uh, bishop c7 because when the queen and the bishop on this diagonal from b8 to h2 sometimes black can try a pawn sacrifice with d5 and try to take the pawn on h2 where the dark squares were very weakened around the white king another uh, approach for white is playing b4 taking away the square from the knight of d7 and also preparing a move like c4 c5 later on and the reason that white likes to um, come with c5 is to get rid of those spikes these pawns are uh, horrible for white because and also the pawns on a6 and e6 because there's no white piece that can uh, come to the um, fifth rank of black so let's continue with seeing this example 
Now bishop c7 is um, threatening to h2 and that means that after king h1 white likes to, to protect the pawn with um, queen g1 but of course he's too late because now black can uh, play d5 immediately and after taking the pawn on d5 black doesn't take it back but it takes he takes the pawn on uh, h2 and now all the black squares are very weak around white's king and the threat of knight h5 knight g3 and he might be taking on f1 with a um, discovery check can cause white much problem very much very many problems so this kind of game is one of the ideas with the hedgehog because now the, the breakthrough in the center is one of the big themes in the Hedgehog. And we come to that part of this um, setup later.